The Sportsman's Table, brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. Joining me today is my guest, Chef Tom Mullally. He is the department chair here at Ori Georgetown Technical College. He's the guy that puts all these youngsters through this program here. And Tom, you got a special recipe, golden tile fish. I'm excited, Bob. I'm this excited. will be a first, man. Let's get started. Excellent. This is a local fish. This is a golden tile. Okay. We're going to sear right here. Our saute pan. Oh, wow. Got to get that little sizzling action going. Okay. It's a beautiful fish. Uh, it's a nice white filet. Uh, no fishy uh, flavor whatsoever. It's not extremely yeah. strong. It's very mild, like a grouper or a red uh -huh. snapper. Okay. And we are going to uh, serve this over a uh, mashed uh, celery root. It's basically the same process as doing mashed potatoes, but I we're going to sub the celery root. And this is actually celery root right here. It looks uh, somewhat brontosaurus, prehistoric. It kind of does. Kind of like a bad rock. Okay. It's pretty wild. Yeah. It's a different out of the ordinary type vegetable. And we're going to top it off with a roasted sweet red pepper tomato dill relish. Oh, wow. Now, how long are you going to have to sear this for? It's, uh, it's going to take about a uh, couple of minutes on each side. Okay. This is a nice thin filet. It's going to saute up really quick for us. And listen, I learned from all you all, never overcook the fish. No, there's nothing worse than a dry piece of fish, Bob. Exactly. You know that. Bingo. Folks, remember that. Hey, listen, if you want to get a copy of Tom's recipe, log on to BobRedford.com. Golden tile fish. Awesome. Okay. Excellent. We're going to flip him. Oh, yeah. Beautiful white. Mm. Get a little nice golden brown color on yeah. there. As we're waiting for that to saute a little bit more, we've got our mashed uh, celery root. And again, it's the same process as doing mashed potatoes. Yeah. We're just simply uh, subbing the celery root for the potatoes. So this is going to be a carb-free dish. Oh, wow. It's warming up, so we're going to uh, make a nice, light, refreshing dish here. Lots of flavor, a few less calories, good stuff. I'm all about less calories, okay? Excellent. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Okay. We've got a little garnish here. We have a little lemon, fresh dill. We're going to uh, make our roasted sweet red pepper uh, tomato dill relish. We've got fresh Roma tomatoes diced here. I'm going to add a little uh, roasted red bell peppers. Mm. Great color. Wow. Have to have a little herbage in there. This is fresh dill, some scallions. See, now I know why you're the department chair. It's all coming together, Bob. There it it is always all. does. Just, just, like, just like a magazine, yeah. Bob. Little shallots. Personal preference, I believe that our shallots are the so-called Cadillac and the onion family. There you go. Really enjoy them a lot. That, rosemary, and thyme. There huh? you go. It's endless, I tell you. <laughs> yes, That's what right. we love about culinary arts. Every day is just not the same. Exactly. We're going to garnish it up with some uh, beautiful, fresh local vegetables here. They eat with the eyes first, as you know, Bob. Oh, yeah. This is what I love about food. I, I love playing around with it. I love to amaze our guests. Just all seems to come together in the end. Well, and you do this to your students as well, and that's that's what's really special we here. We do, we do. Us old chefs won't be around forever, Bob. We need to sculpt them for the exactly. future. And a lot of your chefs move on to a lot of these big restaurants here down in Myrtle Beach, and uh, that, that's really even special. Oh, we've got some incredible uh, so-called Cinderella stories. Yeah. A lot of our past students have exactly. really done well for themselves. Yeah. I'm going to lace it with just a tiny bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. Okay. No bland food allowed, as you know. We need a little salt and pepper in there. Spice of life. You bet. Yes, sir. Bland food has never amazed anybody, so we need to make sure that things are uh, okay. seasoned and cooked perfectly. <laughs> We're going to take our golden tile fish, put it right over. Our pureed celery root mashed potatoes. There you go. Put it right over our uh, pureed celery root. And we're going to uh, top it with a little bit of our relish here. Again, this is a roasted sweet red pepper, tomato dill relish. Plate's really coming alive, as you can see, Bob. Nice color, flavor. We're going to lace that right over the top there. Awesome. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's awesome. really coming together. All fresh, all local. Nothing. Certified South Carolina. There exactly. You go. Yeah. So there you have it, Bob. This is seared local golden tile fish. It's over a mashed celery root, and it's uh, topped off with a roasted sweet red pepper and tomato dill relish. Tom, thank you so much for being our guest today. And folks, listen, if you'd like a career in the culinary arts and become a chef just like Tom, log on to their website at hgtc.edu, and you can come down to Ori Georgetown Technical College and go to school as well. Well, remember, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer than the certified South Carolina. Log on to their website at certifiedscgrown.com and see for yourself. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com.